Welcome back 812 right now. People in Kentucky are waking up this morning to devastation after those tornadoes that hit over the weekend. Many are reeling from loss of life and property. Now, most tornadoes, as you know, come quick. They have little warning. And last year, one actually swept right through Metro Orlando, leaving a father and son with almost nothing. Well, the news of the Kentucky tornadoes has them reflecting on their own process and what they have been going through in that rebuilding process. And joining us this morning to talk more about that is Thomas Cardinal, whose home was hit in Orlando, and his son Tommy. Great to see both of you. Hi, guys. How's it going? Hi. Great. How are you doing? Very good. Thanks. We're so glad you could join us this morning. I, I imagine, uh, Thomas, I'll start with you. Watching this news over the weekend must have brought up a lot of feelings for you. Yeah, it did a lot of emotions, a lot of feelings. Um, I can't imagine what they're going I can't imagine, but at the same time, I can't because the devastation there is unbelievable. Um, the emotions you go through, um, you go through, everything's just happening so fast. Um, so yeah, it's 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 unbelievable. For Thomas, for those who don't remember your story, uh, remind them again. This tornado actually went right through the metro area, as we mentioned, hitting your home and, and caused a ton of damage. And little Tommy wasn't home at the time, right? He was at a birthday party. That's correct. I, I'm thankful for that. Um, because the emotions that went through my head and, and the things that went through my mind when I actually opened the front door and seen it across the street behind my neighbor's house, um, I just you just don't know, you just react. You just do things you need to do. Um, you know, it came through and, it, and people say it's a freight train, it's a freight train. Um, and it doesn't stop until it's done, with what damage it's done. We're looking at some of the pictures of your home right now, just seeing the ceiling gone. You know, almost everything in the house was ruined. And then on top of all of that, you guys had just moved here, Thomas, because your wife, your wife had passed away. Yes, that's correct. Um, it'll be a couple years here in about another week or so that she's been gone. And I'm going to move back here because all my family lives here and I wanted to be close to them. And uh, it's really strange when you live in the state of Kansas for almost 18 years and Tornado Alley, you never get hit by a tornado, and you move back to Florida and you get one. Um, there's a reason for it happening. We don't know why, why, or but you know, I had somebody watching over me when I was sitting in that hallway where that tornado came through that house. Thomas, talk to me about what it takes to get back on your feet again, because I, I think a lot of people don't. You know, they think, oh, well, insurance will cover it. it it's just not that simple for most of these folks. No, and I didn't have any uh, renter's insurance either. So um, the great community that I live in in Conway, they help out tremendously um, from strangers I've never met before to the fire department, to the Red Cross. You just gotta take what you can get to help you because if you don't get any help, you're gonna struggle. It's gonna be hard, it's rough. Um, thank goodness I had family to stay with for a short period of time, but um, still you have to rebuild from going from Everything I had is nothing. It's just starting all over again. And Tommy, can you hear me? Yes. Tommy, tell me a little bit about what this has been like over the last year and, and all of the wonderful things that people have done to help you and your dad uh, get back on your feet again. I don't know. It's just nice that everybody cheered in to help us, even people that we didn't know. Oh, I know that makes you feel good, Thomas, to, to know that all of these people pitched in to help you. And I'm sure you're thinking, my gosh, uh, the number of people devastated in not only in Kentucky, but Illinois, many of these other states. Uh, it's going to take, uh, you know, a, a huge number of people to get them back on their feet. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Definitely. Um, you know, all I can tell them is <clears throat> you got to try to keep a positive outlook. Just keep that positive outlook. Um, my son made me keep that positive outlook because I had to make sure he had roof over his head and clothes on his back. Um, like I said, you know, there's people in this neighborhood, in this area that helped out tremendously, making sure he had what he needed, um, which helped out a lot. But I mean, you just got to take it day by day. It's, 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 a, it's devastation. Yeah, it really is. Well, we're so happy to see you both doing so well. And we appreciate your sharing your story with us. Thomas and Tommy, thank you. Thank you. Y'all have a great day. You we're too. Praying for everybody in the in Kentucky and other states that got hit. Thank you so much, Tom.